Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video I put up, the little um, toothpick thing. I um, I only I only super glued it to, as a, a rush thing to get it done. I actually took it out and epoxied it in, so it's it's done. But it won't ever come off. It's it's uh, done with epoxy. So I lined all the grain up, so all the grain matches. Turned out to be a really nice little pot. That really nice. I'm I'm really pleased with that. Um, unorthodox way of doing it. Yeah, but that's me. You know. <laughs> yes, I could measure it. That's boring. It'd be boring. Do, yeah. But, you know, measuring and everything. <laughs> What's that for? But there you go. So yeah, let us know what you think, guys. All right. So right today I'm doing one. I'm doing a cowboy hat. So I've got some wood, some of this wood left over. This is one I grabbed off of the guys that was cutting the tree in the road and I stopped and got out and grabbed some from them. Um, now it's wet, it's wet wood and I've got to get this done otherwise this is gonna crack um, and I wanna get it done before it cracks. So I've marked the circle, that's the size I should get for the, the rim of the hat there, which is, is going to be, just in case, what I'm hoping to get is a rim of six and a half inches for this one. So it should be a nice size. So I've got all the uh, gonk ones done. They're all done. They've all been posted off. The bloke's got them. Um, very, very happy with them. Mm. I couldn't show them because obviously they're, they're for uh, a person. So they're not, not mine to show really. So um, yeah, but he was very happy. And actually he wants some cowboy hats doing because he wants some wooden cowboy hats. So I've got more work out of that one. So it was really good. Right, I'm going to turn this one. So if you're not interested in cowboy hats, uh, cowboy hats, that's what you're going to see turned today. So I'm going to start off by roughing it down. Um, made some quick tip, guys. If you do, because like here, I've got my chisels. I've got them ready, these these ones. I've put this in the aluminium handle because I want a bit of weight because I'm just going to rough this down to round. I made some little tops for them. So they just go on because when you've got your chisel standing here like this and they're standing up, I mean, you know, you reach across to get something and next minute you've sliced your hand. So done them for the 16 mil ones as well. Yeah, so they just slot over. So if you've got to leave your chisel standing up, it's like, next three, five minutes, just square bit of wood, drill it on the drill press to 16 mil, put it on the lathe, turn it, and there you go, nice little tops. So I thought you might be interested. Just another little thing, little <laughs> money saving tip you can do. Tip. <laughs> It's money saving because you think how much it's going to cost you in plasters when you cut your hand open, <laughs> cut your arm open on it. <laughs> right, okay, mask on. I've got this piece set already on. I've got it between my two step centers, my big step center, and that's just so I can get it round. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually put a tenon on here so I can turn it round, put a recess in the bottom, then turn it back round. Um, no, no, I'm not going to do that actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to put tenon on here, then turn it round. Uh, no, no, I'm not actually. Let me think about what I'm doing here. Right, I'm going to turn it to round. Yes. And then I'm going to get it so I can get it mounted somehow. Oh, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Yeah, that's going to be the bottom. That's going to be the top. We'll work it out. I don't know, I probably mounted it the wrong way. I've confused myself now. Never mind, we'll get there. Right, okay. I'm standing over this side, start it off slow. I feel I can only get this to about a thousand RPM. Right, just, just over the thousand RPM, just under, just over. Right, I'm just gonna take some slow cuts going in here. Chisel handles down. I said, I've got my chisel handle down. Coming in, I'm getting the bevel. That's quite a big cut there. Move that tool rest in a bit. Don't forget, turn your lathe off before you move your tool rest in.
Not round yet, I'm going to have a look at it. Oh, I am, I've just come in round. I've just come to round, not quite on this side, but just that tiny little bit there to take off to get that round. Oh, that's not too bad, we're near enough there. Yeah, yeah, we're looking pretty good, right, okay. Right, I don't think anything's gonna happen, so I can put that back over there. Get the speed up a little bit more. Yeah, it's like to be about there. Yeah, I think that's all round now. That's all round. Right, I've got a little bit of wobble, so I'm going to turn it down just a fraction. That's it, that's nice. Right, okay, I'm just going to come in on this side a little bit. Right, what I'm actually want to do I think it's this side I want to put the tenon on just so I can get a recess in here and then get it turned round but I need to flatten this bottom off as well so I can know where I'm going to be right okay what I'm going to do I mean I know this is green wood and it's not what I would normally do but I'm going to use a square carbide and I'm just going to level these bits up Find where that's it, that feels smooth. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got a flat bottom, right? Okay, got a flat bottom, so now I want to get a tenon put on this side. I should be able to grab hold of that. It's quite a big, big tenon, so I should be able to get hold of that, all right? And then I can put... Right, okay, guys. Taking it off now and getting it mounted up on a chuck. It's wobbling a bit there. Right, so that's all I've done. That's going to be big enough for my hat, so... Take that back for a minute. That the um when I remounted that piece the other day. Oh, let me take this off. When I remounted the piece to take the uh the bottom off it and I've got all that noise. It was my centers were out, they had moved. I should have checked it at the time. I didn't check it because I, I I never moved my headstock. I never ever turned with it swiveled. Um but what had happened, obviously I've turned down some uh bits like this and the vibration has obviously moved it. Um but what I had to do, I noticed my lever that locks it down was actually touching the lathe bed. So it's as far as it could go. So what I had to do is tighten the nut up underneath a bit so that it could lock down on it a bit better. And that's what I had to do. Right, so what size we got there? So can we use my... Uh... Oh, did I make it? 
Yeah, it's too big for the four inch. Right, okay, I'm gonna put it on the shark jaws then. Get a good grip on it. It's only so I can put a recess in. Probably got it too big actually. It's probably not gonna fit in this. Probably have to go to the other jaws. Yep, other jaws. Too big for this one. It's lucky you've got so many. Well, that's why I say to you, I have to buy, I bought another one the other day, guys. I went up to, <laughs> went up to Snayton. Uh, when was it? Was it not yesterday, day before, day wasn't before, it? Oh, yeah. Let's chuck her hold it. I went up to Snayton. Um, I had to get some wood and stuff and some bandsaw blades. And yeah, I bought the last of their, uh, the last of their chucks they've got. Oh, I might have to change this tenon a little bit, actually, because I've got a feeling this ain't going to hold properly. In here, no, it's not. I'm not going to hold it. I'll look at that. See, I should have measured. Oh, hang on, no, I don't know. That's, that's gone in. That's it. Mm. No, I've only got it. No, I've only got hold of it by a little bit. Sorry, guy. Look, that's only got that little bit. I thought that was going to go in my other jaws. I was sure that was going to be all right. Oh, well, never mind. I'll get it back on there. And I will run the tenon again. I'll take it down a bit more. It was wobbling quite a bit, so it's a bit awkward to get it on the back there. I didn't want it to end up flying off. It didn't feel as secure as I wanted it at that point. So I'm gonna mount it again, run the other way, and I'll turn the ten, turn a better tenon than that, get it down a bit. Gotta be careful, I don't wanna to go too mad because I've got to keep the height of the hat, see? Right, okay, let's come in here. This will hold it better now, I reckon. Yeah, that's got it a bit better. Yeah, that's that's holding better now. I'll be able to get a better tenon on that now. I'll be able to use me, me garage for it. Right, okay, let's get a better tenon turn. I say so because I don't want to lose too much wood on it. Yeah, it's turning better now. 1200 is about right. That's not too bad. Now, yeah, a bit higher there. That's better, I've got more tenon there now. Now I'll be able to hold it. So what, what I want to do is this is where the top of the hat's gonna be. The top of the hat's gonna be up here, so I don't want to reduce the depth too much. It's gonna be the rim, but I want to put a recess in there so I can turn it round, get the top of the hat done, and then I'll turn it round to hollow it out. So Get rid of that one, get rid of this one, and now I can get my shark jaws on. And get it held properly. Put 
again. A little bit of a wobble there. Come on. Right, let me bring that, let me bring that towel stop up again. So I'm getting a bit of a, a what it's moving off. Right, that's it. Now let's get it. What I hate about tenons, see? Right, there we go. We've got it. Right, I'm not. Even, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to take that off first. So. Right, I'll take that off and I'll get my tenon done. Well, I'm a bit short for that. I'm Very high. Right, now I want a recess for my new drawers to go in. Which, uh, this is the truck I bought. I bought myself the last one they had of the uh, Direct Thread M33, the Nova G3 one. Or the Nova 3, yeah, G3. Techno 3 or whatever. And I bought these drawers for it. Okay, which are nice because I can get them inside and they open up and they grip nice. So for that I want uh, the new drawer, so I'm not sure of that measurement. I did remember, it was just over 30 mil, so if I get about 32 mil, that'd be good. Right, put that there for a minute. Sorry. Uh, 32 mil, let's measure. So we want... Uh, about 16 now, so we go about, uh, maybe go a little bit more. Go about there, we should be alright with that. And I can go quite there, I think there's 25 mil deep, these 20, 20 mil deep they are. So I won't be going quite as deep as that. Right, okay, I'm gonna. Get rid of this step centre. I'm going to get rid of the uh, towel stock. Get that all moved back out of the way. That's it. Now I'm just going to open this up. So I'll get a good hold of it, because this is wet timber, I want to be in nice and deep and get a good hold of it. And it's not going to hurt because this is all going to be, this has all got to be hollowed out later anyway, because this is the inside of the hat. Right, 
Let me get a, uh, I've got a nice little chisel here. Trouble with wet wood, it's all fibres. Right. All clogs up. Especially when you can't get the speed up. Right, that's it now. I'm just going to push it with a skew. I'm going to go in with a skew chisel just to give me a... Because those jaws have got a little dovetail on them. Right, that's going to make sure I get hold of that. So stop that, let me just check that, make sure they're going to go in. Are they? No, no, got to go a little bit more. A little bit wider. We're not doing very good with our measurements today, are we? <laughs> Normally a bit better than this. Yeah, it's very fibrous when it's wet wood. tiny bit because it's wet wood so that's why I don't like tenons because if you crush down on it especially being wet wood that can pop off so easy with that I'm right inside gripper jaws dovetail it's all good it's all good right now we're gonna get this um, turned down I think, uh, do I want to be on? yeah I'll start off with it like Right, and for this I'm going to use my mm, a short little bowl gouge here, okay? Right, that's all running better now. to turn away this is really wet look this is like pasta <laughs> it's really really wet wood I'm actually getting sprayed by with water I felt it's clogging up, look, it's all clogging inside. I feel I'm going to go over to my big chisel for a minute. I'm going to go over to the big one so I can move some wood. I 
Like I say, it might seem a bit overkill, but... I mean, look, the shavings. I mean, you can see these shavings coming off. Look how thick they are, look. Okay. So it might seem a bit overkill, chisel this size, but it does the job. I'm going to be there for ages if I'm using a small chisel. I'm just doing the same as normal, wipe right the bevel. It's going to be a bigger hat than I thought. Turn that speed up a bit. I can get it up a bit faster now, see? Which means I get better. And I'm going to start in big cuts there, guys. But look, total control. Total control of it. Okay, it's just going in nice. The size of those shavings. Right, I've got to work out now how big I'm going to have this hat. But I've got that much rim. It's going to be really curvy, yeah. So is that getting you? <laughs> I just covered leaves in shavings. Yeah, but at least they're not all dusty ones like the last ones. Yeah, that's going to be quite a big rim on that. Right now, I can see where that is. I think I'm going to get a better tenon on here as well for this one. A bit high actually. I'm getting the size of this tool, that's better. So I say, a tool can be too small, but it can't be too big. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> Gotta be careful when you do that across the flute, because you can cut your fingers. Probably not with your chisels, but you can with mine. Oh. Right, okay. Let's take another cut down there. Yep, right, I've got to start shaping now, so I've got to go over to different chisel again. Right. Now, I do like to get on my spindle gouge if I can. Okay.
So I'll try and get this curve at the bottom. I don't want it as a... That's it, that's not too bad. I'm going to put a bit of curve into this. So it'll already start getting that shape. I don't like to scrape back, I like to get the cut and, and come up so it gives it more of a sheer, a sheer scrape, sheer cut action. By dropping the handle right down, I can come out. I get a nice, nice smooth finish there. Right, I think I'm going to go for another... Give yourself a little, a little shelf there, a little place to pick up your cut. Yeah, that's not too bad. Drop the handle right down, right down, right down. I've got my flute fully open at that point, and you don't want to be coming in with it this way fully open, but it's okay when you're up like this. If you come in like that with it fully open, it's going to grab and you're going to lose it. Okay, so it's got to be closed at that point, and as I start coming back, as I start dropping the handle, I can open the flute. So the flute's right open. And I'm actually on the bevel and I'm getting a nice little sheer cut. Right, okay. Right, okay then. I just want to refine that that bit there. Sorry, Diane, throw it. Sure. Good shaving all over you. Yep. So I'm going over to a yeah, another yeah, another chisel, a small spindle gouge. Because I now want to come in, drop my tool rest down. I get a bit of a bit of a sheer cut on this hat. Yeah, that give me a nice finish. I think I'm going to keep that as the size of the, the hat there on the top. Yeah, that's going to be okay. Quite happy with that. Right, I'm going to get a little bit of sanding done on it i shouldn't uh it won't be a lot because it is really wet can't really do a lot with the wet wood gonna be all right yeah I'll leave that at that right I'm gonna get turned around and then I start getting it hollowed out so I've got a lovely clean finish on that anyway a little bit of tear there but that's gonna go when I come around the other side wet wood see you can't sand it when it's that wet Yeah, I reckon that would be the right size. Okay. Yeah, 
it's probably been quite a long video this one guys because you can't really do much about it when you're doing a, a cowboy hat uh right now what size did i make that tenon didn't even check the size did i <laughs> oh that's right 40 mil i can get that with my uh sc1 these uh sc1 oh, can i no no i'm actually i'm gonna have to go with this one that'll be uh pushing it on that one mm. go with this chuck this will get hold of it nicely mm -hmm. yep perfect look at that right tighten the quarter so we'll make sure i've got no cracks no nope, wood's not cracked everything's running true look at that nice right okay Slightly heavy cuts for this size chisel. Now a lot of people don't do it that way. They're, they're cut from this way in, or there's their pull cut across it. But if you want to get a really nice finish and a nice rim to your hat, that way. So I'm still trying to establish where. Um, I think it's going to be first. Probably a bit unorthodox way of doing it guys, but it's worked for me. I just want to locate where the inside of my hat's going to be. Right now we're going to have to start doing the clever bit here. Come on, stay down there. All right, okay. over a little bit that's it Get a bit of vibration, it's getting thin now on that outside, so you have to get your finger behind it. Try and get this lamp positioned a bit better if I can. I need it on that inside now.
That's it. So now I can start to find where that rim is. Right, the lighter the colour, the thinner it is. So I'm now going to try and come in and find out where... Right, there it is, I can just see some colour coming through. I can just see where I am at that point. So I'm going to now pick my cut up and come in. I'm going to change the chisels just for a minute. I've got a, a final point on this one. You get those sort of savings coming off. Now you can't come in and pick your cut up here. You've got to run your bevel back and then come in. Otherwise you're going to get a line there and you're not going to be able to get rid of it. Okay, so you've got to ride your bevel, run your bevel, float it on the top, come back and then come in and slowly pick the cut up. You have to take a bit more wood off, just run it back and come in and pick it up again. Still got a bit of thickness there. You see it just here. The chisel likes the side, it doesn't like the bottom. I've got this right in this corner now. Got some other chisel. Now this one doesn't mind the bottom, see? It's got a different bevel on it. way to go to get down to that bottom.
Wood keeps building up under the bevel. All right, okay. Now I can feel I've got quite a bit of wood there yet. For a second, clean that out. Right, I want to get a or an idea of how wide I am at the top here. How long we gone? Uh, 47. 47. We'll probably do this in two parts. This one, guys, because it takes a time to get the, a cowboy hat done. But if you ain't turned one, they're great fun. A little bit more to take off of that. Yeah, that's still... Yeah, that can still have a bit more taken off. Right, so I can see where I, that's the top of the hat and the bottom, so... I've got quite a bit to come in onto the bottom. That doesn't even go over the bottom there. So... Yeah, let's start her up. Can you get a sort of a, a rough mark? Right, that's what it is near enough at the top of the hat. Right, I want my... This one. I'm not blocking you, am I? Oh, I'm moving around. We're doing good. Right, let's get some of that bulk out from the inside there.
I'm gonna play it for a minute. We're getting thinner now, guys. Keep the spindle gouge again. Can't afford any skip backs or any catches here. Right, we're getting there now guys, we're getting to our thin bit. And back to this corner. I think I want to get a bit more off of this room here. a bit better. Mm. Get your finger behind there to stop it flexing. It's not looking too bad. I've just got to blend these two together now. Mmm, a little bit there. 
Stay tuned on the day. Don't forget to watch. That's better. It wasn't scraping off, so I had to get it that way. Right, okay. I still feel I'm a little bit thick in this corner. Get in there. Definitely. Once you see this colour change in here, to match this, you know you're getting the thickness all the same. Makes your back ache a little bit going over, but there you go, never mind. That's what we've got to do. Right, okay, now. Very technical measurement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Get a bit out of that bottom now. Now, the trouble is, even the spindle gouge can't. Even with this bevel, I can't get right on that bottom, so... There's only one tool, you alright? Yeah, You're falling apart, are you? Yeah, I'm going to spin it around a bit. Spin it on the other side. What? You want to take the camera around the other side? Right, yeah. sorry guys. Give us a minute. Alright. There you go guys. <laughs> right, yeah, as I was saying, there's only one tool that can get up in there and do this job. And that's our little six mil hollower. Six mil hollower. Uh, I've got to get that sort of dust out of the way of that check corner. So I can see it. And this is the only one that you can use to give that pull cut. Because remember, we're bowl orientation. We're not end grain. But you can come across and do it with, this, with these cutters. So I've got to one coming on the top of that hat. A lot of people find these six mil cutters really aggressive, but if you use them right, you can do such a delicate cut. Remember, there's no room for scraping on this side. I can't scrape it. You're right. Yeah, I'm just coming lower. The head's getting in the way. <laughs> so I'll just bring that light round. Hmm. And there's a bit of technical measure in here. Yep, that's feeling pretty good. You see I've got a darker bit just here. Well, I've had a darker bit just there. It's not there now. 
Right, we're getting up into the top of our hat now. Not far to go now. Remember, roll it over and then you get a nice cut with it, it won't grab. Don't try going in that way with it and scraping, it won't do you no good. Yep, that's all right. Nice parallel sides. Nice bottom, I reckon that's up. Far enough, probably, maybe. Yep, that's up far enough. Right, okay, let's just make this final cut on the bottom. Yep, all good. Right, okay. Turn that off for a minute. It's a little ridge just there. Yep. So I can only see it when I took the light off of it. Right, this is where it all goes tits up. No, nope, we got it. Get that flat spot like that, that bump. Then when it, you um, when you're getting it to I'll take this off for a minute. When you're getting it to curl up, it will. Uh, if it's got that that thicker spot right there, it will bend at that, and it will probably snap. Right. Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding on it. Right, we've got a bit of dust, so we put the dust extractor on. One hour, five minutes. One hour, five minutes. Yeah. I feel like I'm just going to finish it. I haven't got that much to do now, guys. Cross your legs if you need a wee. Once it gets to this bin, it starts drying, so then you can sand it. And sand it both sides at the same time. Otherwise what you'll do is you'll put too much pressure on and it'll go.
Okay. We're going to put a little bit of colour for the back print. This, I've got a sorry let me get rid of that you can you see that end there yeah. all right I'm just gonna get a fresh edge put on this and on this one I'm hoping to do a bit of darkening all right let me see if this is gonna work here I'll get my tool rest in so I can hold my hand on it There we go. That give us our, our band. Right, let's just uh, get this out of the chuck for a minute. Now, that's what we've got. That's what we've got so far, guys. I reckon that's gonna. That's gonna curl when that when I wet it down and put the bands over it. That that curl up, okay. So we're all hollowed out up there. And I see now we've got to turn it round. We've got to take this off and get our rim. And I've left enough thickness. I can feel the thickness there. So I've left enough thickness for that. I've just got to hope. What do I do with that? Oh, it's up there, isn't it? Jam chuck. Actually, I'm gonna change this chuck over for that small one. Okay. Now I've got a hope. Yeah, that's gonna fit on there. So I've got to hold that like that. I'll get a bit of a uh, router mat in on here. Now hopefully that will push on to. Give it enough grip. That centralise in a minute. Cent centralise, yeah. Centralise. <laughs> centralise. That will become central <laughs> in a mo. Um, right. Okay. Let's put these chisels away for a minute. So we decide what chisel we want as we do it. And now I've got to get my towel stock up. get this fairly central turn back at you it's a bit awkward with that route mat matting in there but I need that so I can grip it that's not too bad there we go right now just a little bit of pressure just to hold it that's that's all that is we're gonna spin it up and see what happens Yep, yeah, that's all right. I'm going to start turning. Start getting this, this bottom off. Top off, I should say.
Right, now. Now what I've got to do is I've got to get my torch. I've got a torch that goes in the end of my... This goes in the end of my... Uh, headstock. Headstock. <laughs> that pushes up inside there. And I'll turn that on. Right now, I can see the lights on. And I can just see, if you can see it here, and just see the light. Look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that actually, I might have gone, mm, I think I've gone a little bit thin there already. Because we've got a, a, a white light. So I might be near enough at the point. So. Thought I had a bit more than that to go. I'm just going to, for a second, go. I'm going to turn these lights off. Okay, so I can just see a bit better. Now what I've got to make sure is that this bit cuts off and doesn't break off. Because if it breaks off, it will probably put a hole in the middle of the hat. Got a little bit of room at the side here. There we go, got a little dip in there. You can see. Yeah. Ow! Oh, I've got a catch then. Have I gone through it? Oh, that was nasty. I shouldn't have got it. I'll, I'll come in wrong with the chisel then. Right, hang on. Mm, I might be able to repair it. Let's see. Popped it slightly off centre there as well, I think. Oh, I wasn't watching what I was doing, guys. I come in with a chisel and caught it. That was bad. Okay, we've got a bit of a wobble there, but I can't do nothing about that because if I take it off and then try to put the centre on again, it's not going to do it. Right, the centre's off. I'll bring that back. Get that out of the way in case it comes off. I don't want that to hurt nothing. It's not as smooth as I'd like, but it's a bit awkward. I can't do a lot because it's uh, very, very thin. Sh 
should, that's it, we've got the dibble. I should have thought actually and put the uh, light on it uh, sooner. I should have got the light on it a bit, little bit sooner. But never mind, we're there, we've saved it. We have our little dibble on the top of our hat. I mean, I think it's that thin. I didn't see it go, it weren't red anywhere, so I probably find it's still got quite a bit of thickness on it. I've got quite a wet band at the top there. Obviously no finishes on this guys because it's wet. Right. I have to let it dry a bit there because it's wet on that top but all right all right let me just have a look and see of course i've got that black mat in and i that's what's making it i <laughs> still got a bit of thickness actually mm -hmm. yeah i still got a bit of thickness there but i mean not a lot if you um Actually, yeah, I'll let them put this one. What am I doing? <laughs> there we go, guys. <laughs> okay. You see that? Yeah. So you can see the thickness. There we go. Could have done a little bit more off of this, this side, rim yeah. here. Just there. But that a lot of that, that's very wet. Very, very wet. So I don't mean to blind you. That's very, very wet there. Mm -hmm. So, but there you go. That's our, that's our cowboy hat. All hollowed out. Now I will get that on a jig and I'll get some bands on that and that will be kill. That, yeah, that's going to kill nice. That'll kill right up. I, I keep wetting it, put the bands on there, elastic bands, and keep wetting it and wetting it and let it dry. And over, literally over, by the time morning comes, this will, will kill up. So can't go too thin because it says to say it will, will end up breaking. Some woods are better than others. I haven't got those, those sort of woods. This is beach, you know, and I was lucky to have got this because it was only that the tree had come down. They was chopping it up in the middle of the road. I jumped out and they let me have it. So, yeah, not quite a big enough one for me, but, you know, what can you say? Anything? I, you know, Howdy, partner. I can get away. I can make anything look good. So, right. Ma'am, toodle pip, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodle pip, folks. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.